The church was the only organization in East Germany which was not ruled by the Communist Party. We had a lot of organizations and um, associations, but somehow the Communist Party and their, uh, its ally parties controlled every part of the society. The church was different. It was an organization the communist regime tried to fight against in the 50s. Then they somehow realized we can't, um, we can't get rid of the church. So we somehow acknowledge that there is a church, but if you are active in the church, you, it has consequences for you. You won't get a higher education. You uh, won't have a great career in East Germany. That was the price you paid. On the other hand, the church was a refuge for people who were in an inner or outer uh, public opposition to the, to the regime. So all these oppositional groups, environmental groups, groups who cared for the peace in the world, groups who cared for reconciliation after the Holocaust, they found refuge and home within the church. And this church supported these groups they defended these groups, and uh, that's why people went to the churches for help. In addition, you learned in the church to speak openly. We had free parliaments in East Germany, the church synods. And when the wall came down and we formed a new democracy in East Germany, there were mostly people from the churches who, were, who had learned to speak openly how a parliament works to run the new democracy in East Germany. 